Given that most internet service providers give away routers as part of the sign-up process, it might be hard to see why you'd want to spend more money on a new one. You'll be spending a lot of money to get the AVM Fritzbot 7390, but then it does have a lot to offer. Now the first hint of this is when you connect it to the telephone socket. Firstly, it has a slightly unusual table that actually plugs into both sockets on a phone splitter, and there are some extra sockets on the back. That's because the 7390 can take control of all the phones in your home, so you can make cheap internet calls using ordinary telephones. It can work as a base station for up to six stacked phones, as well as the two wired sockets on the back. Setup is easy and the interface has been improved since we looked at the previous model, the 7270. AVM tell us that there will be an update for that router soon to bring it up to date. On the first run it shows the wizards page that can be used to set up the telephones, phone numbers, internet connection and upgrade the firmware. The 7390 does everything you could possibly want from a broadband router, including a very useful bandwidth report that should hopefully stop any unhelpful charges from your ISP. It can email this report to you on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. And it's also got some useful parental controls that can set time limits on internet access for specific computers on the network. A new and very useful feature is the guest wireless access that can give a guest to your house access to the internet without giving them access to the computers on your network. There are now two USB sockets on the router, one on the back and one on the side. As with the 7270, they can be used to connect to a 3G network with a compatible USB dongle, share a printer over the network, or share music and video. The printing utility for Windows is very good and can be downloaded via the router interface. The telephone side of the Fritzbox will take a little bit more time to set up, but it is worth the effort. Each phone connected to the router can be given its own internal number so you can make internal calls. Each phone can also have an answer phone and its own number using an online VoIP account. Now this doesn't include Stripe and that's because Stripe's not a proper standard but there are plenty of other alternatives that offer free calls between compatible accounts. These are called SIP and they also offer cheap calls abroad. We were quite impressed that the router will attempt to make the call using the free online service first and then if that doesn't work automatically use the landline. Dialing rules can be set to force particular numbers to use particular lines. So for example, the Fritzbox is set up to always make 999 and 112 calls from the landline. A new feature of the 7390 is that it has memory for the answer phones built in. Previous routers needed a USB key to add this memory. Phones can also be used as alarm clocks and the alarms can be set to specific phones rather than ringing across the whole house. The catch is that the 7390 is very expensive, around £210 online. It is still very good value for money, but only if you're going to use some of the more advanced features that it offers.